Hello, YouTube. Hi. What's up? <laughs> we are live. We're live. Yes, we are. <laughs> Wait, now we're live. I think I mess that up every single time. <laughs> you do, I think. Hi. <laughs> yes, so we're actually on schedule. I know, right? <laughs> it never happens. We are on schedule. It is Friday. Oh my goodness, right? Yeah, it's Friday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the matter with you? We've been traveling so much. I'm like, wait a second, what day is it? Hey, I Patricia, know. hey, Margo. We went live like two days ago. and I was I'm going like, to use the phones. Oh. My eyes suck. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, everyone? Adrianic, Robin Rushing, Aerosmith Joe, Kelly B, Brittany Andy's Suffin. Andy's wearing his glasses. I am. Yeah, my glasses suck it. <laughs> I finally figured out the bell thing. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Vicky caught, caught us live. Sorry, I'm looking down at the phone. I'm trying to read these comments as they scroll in. So we got a cool show tonight. We're going to be talking about top 10 tips to increase your sales and um, generate more activity in your closet. And just Some of them are new. Some of them are some new. Of some of them you've heard new. before. Yeah. Some of them you've heard before. Um, I've been very interested in the Poshmark Analytics group lately. I have been a member of that group on Facebook for quite some time. And I'm in and out of it you know, with my time, but lately I'm like, there's some like crazy member crunchers in there. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've been going on that group like almost every single hey, day. Hey, Marcy. <laughs> and learning. And hey, Melissa. <laughs> Emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, what's up? Diane Gaylord, Lachey Smith, how you doing? Ladies Closet. I did. We did. we applied to yeah, the podcast speakers. Um, we at first they were like, "Okay, nominate somebody else. You can't nominate yourself." So I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna nominate him." And then I told him, "You nominate <laughs> me." Yeah. And then the second time around, they were like, "Okay, do you want to speak?" So then I put an application in for both of us. And then we did a video. They managed to like, do yeah, a video. Yeah, they fight like a minute video. We're comfortable in front of a camera. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that went out yesterday. It was crazy. It was like a 60 second video and it wasn't like compressed enough. I was like, just send it. <laughs> send it into Poshmark. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I We are going to Poshmark live yeah, in, New York, in City. New York City. Um, they do this once in a while. They'll travel around the country and they'll have like the big cities in the country and they have like a little mini event. And they do closet consultations there, and you share, and you, you network and stuff. So we got our ticket. We're going. And then I get an email, and they're like, do you want to be a closet consultant? And I was like, eh -huh, I could definitely do that. Been there, done that. So I'm going to do that on Tuesday. <laughs> so that should be, that be <laughs> fun. We missed the first one when we were in New York. So we, we couldn't go to the first one they had there. See, I'm trying to read. You both would be so amazing. Good luck. Yes, I hope so. I want to speak at the Posh Fest. Carrie Berry's mom has been trying the 30-minute method. That works. That's a yes. good thing to do. <clears throat> That's actually one of my first tips is to, because not everybody needs the 30-minute method. Some people work and they're like, I need the 30-minute method or I don't have a lot of time yep. right now. But if you don't actually need the 30 minute method and you have all the time in the world or you're, you know, you stay at home or whatever, incorporate some of the 30 minute method into your actual daily poshing. Welcome new poshers. Yeah. I know sometimes when people do this full time or they have a lot more time on their hands, they forget the basics. <laughs> <laughs> you forget to say, hey, welcome to Poshmark. And, you know, like in typing to people, it is a social platform. So they want you to at the person's name and type to them and say, Hey, welcome. Have any questions? Tag me. This is my closet name. I'll be happy to help you if I can, you know, so try to incorporate some of the 30 minute method or parts of it into your daily repertoire. It'll definitely help. Yes. Hey, Nicole, Nicole Kaluz here. Um, everybody go follow Hi, her YouTube channel. She just started a YouTube channel recently. It's uh, her name, Nicole Kaluz on YouTube. Check it out. She's going to be doing lifestyle videos and all that good stuff. So go check her channel out and subscribe. I think she's going to be talking a little bit about Poshmark there as well. So definitely give her videos a watch. And uh, I know Nicole she goes live sometimes. Nicole one of our videos. Nicole 
also knows a lot about taxes. Yep, she's going to be talking about CPA stuff. Yes, so yeah, Nicole was in one of our videos, you might have seen, so go follow Nicole and hit the bell. <laughs> <laughs> That lovely bell and emojis and emojis. <laughs> yeah, we had to get them quick, Jamie Doll. They were, uh, we got them the first, as soon as we heard they were announced because we knew they were going to sell out fast. It's a busy thing. So, um, and I've never been there before. We yeah. go to New York somewhat often. I mean, not crazy often, but we're only on what, like a little over an hour away from the city. Um, I've never been to that place before. I mean, there's many places there, but um, it's probably not a humongous venue, you know. So the tickets did sell out fast. Yeah. Um, I just jumped right on it and got it because the first time they went to New York, we weren't in town. And same thing when they were in Boston, so we could still go there too. Yep. So Melissa McCullough has a question. She says, you've helped me out a lot. Can you tell me how you decide to, how to bargain or what to offer at estate sales? Never sure how to do that. Well, what I'll do... <laughs> He loves it. I love it. It's great. So what I'll do is I'll find out first what their starting price is, and then I will um, I will usually go down five to ten dollars and see where the wa test the waters a little bit, and then they'll either accept the offer at that point, and they usually do because it's a reasonable offer, or they'll come back with something in between. You got your your offer, so just try and knock, especially if it's a higher priced item. If it's a lower priced item and you're going to get a decent price on it anyway, don't even worry about bartering. But if you're getting some, if you're getting a price at around like fifteen twenty dollars, try seven eight dollars and and uh, start there and see what happens. So Plus it's just the more testing the water have, and bundle bundle yeah. definitely. Yeah, the, the more, more items you have, have, they're more likely to work with you. They're going to be working a price yeah. out with you that way. So we usually don't have that problem. We usually don't go in and only find like one thing. I hope. <laughs> yeah, we find a lot. You know, so um, usually when you go with multiple items, they're more likely to knock more money off because you're taking not just one thing off their hands, you're taking like a bunch of things off their hands. So it's pretty. It's uh, pretty simple. So what do we got? We got more we're tips coming out. Let's see what we got. Tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to yard sales tomorrow. We're actually doing one estate sale tomorrow. You found an estate sale for tomorrow. I did. All right, we'll see if it's a good one. <laughs> So this one, you said that's interesting. This next tip came directly from the analytics group. It, it's new. I was like, who came up with this one? <laughs> so what is it? Which one are we looking at? The top one. Oh, the top one. Multi-sharing one item. I don't know where order you're going. Yeah, with. <laughs> so this, I don't know who figured this out or they, someone mentioned it in the analytics group and they're like, I just shared one of my items. I picked like a bag and I shared it like 50 times in a row. Like share, 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 share. It's followers. Not even to a party. To a party can only go once. And the next day it sold. And this sparked like an entire thread. And everyone was like, oh my God, I'm going to go share like one of my items like over and over and over again. So it kind of makes sense. I mean, when you share an item once, it goes to a set amount of followers or not, not every one of your followers is going to see it. But when you share an item multiple times, it increases the amount of followers that will see your item. So it, it makes total sense to do it that way and just share spam like uh, one one single item that you definitely want to sell. And it, it makes a lot of sense to do that. Yeah. So it's a really smart tip. And, and <clears> also <throat> really good if you're in a rush, you know, and you don't have time to share your whole closet. You can only share like the top quarter of it. Maybe do like a few like share blasties of your own items, like, yep. especially the ones that like you're like, Please buy this. This would make a good little chunk in my, yeah. my posh wallet right now. You know, get it in front of more people and it's your own item. Share the crud out of it. Kim H, when it's closet clear out, I don't bother with offer private offers to Likers. I just drop my prices and let the um closet clear out do its trick. It's basically the same thing as a private offer to Likers. So you'd be overkilling an item at that point if you're doing both. So just focus on closet clear out and drop your prices and um You'll make sales that way. So the, the private offer to Likers comes into play when there is no closet clear out going on. So um, there was a closet clear out. Hey, Gabriella. And the, I was getting a lot of questions on, you know, once you drop the items price and the offer goes out for six hours. And should I was being asked by two different people, like, should I disengage my bundle discount? Because they're already getting a discount. And I said, a lot of people do that for like sales, especially because you can run a sale in your own closet, however you see fit. You see banners in some closets all the time, like buy one, get one free or buy one, get one 50% off. And a lot of the sellers will go into their seller tools and take off 
their bundle discount yep. during closet clearouts or during like you know how Poshmark does those weekends where it's like private offer to likers um, and just they encourage people to send out these offers. So um, a lot of people will take it off and then put it back on when it's like a normal day because they feel like they're already giving out like a, a pretty steep discount. I might start doing this. <laughs> I might. Yeah. yeah. Because it is. It's like, because then it's like, wait a second. Then you want more of a discount? You already get a discount yeah. once. So what's the point of giving them <laughs> twice, right? Um, so Karen uses an iPhone. Uh, what do you have? The 7? 8. You have the 8. eight. She has the 8. eight and plus. Uh, an 8 Plus to take pictures with. And I think I just have the 8, the uh, regular 8. To, um, I to have a loopy. With. I know some people have like um, the, what are they? Those like um, round things. The yeah. pop sockets. Pop, pop. Because with the larger phone, you have to be able to like um, brace it enough to like take pictures. I don't. I know some people want to buy a camera. You don't need to. Your phone is possible. Phone is a great app. camera. Yeah, well, especially the iPhone. But <clears throat> yeah. And so it was developed as an app. Yes, you can list on your computer, but just take them with your phone. All the cell phones nowadays, like modern cell phones. You're you're not standing far away no. from the product that you're shooting. You're not like taking like a long shot down like the end of the house. You know, you're standing right in front of it. It's gonna come out clear. So like, why why spend money on like a camera or or the even the problem of not problem but like having transferred to the computer and then upload it from memory card. Who needs that? It's right on your phone. Yeah. You know, so we, we have a camera. So Margo, closet <laughs> closet clear out is basically when Poshmark runs a discounted shipping price. What is it? A dollar? Uh, uh, they take a take dollar forty fifty off, 50 off. And, and then. then but you have to lower your prices to get the to get your followers to get that uh, discounted shipping price by ten percent from your historical low. So it's like a, it's like a sale. It's like a ten percent from your lowest price ever sale, and then your buyers will get the. Dollar fifty discount in shipping, so Whoever's everyone's happy. It. So if you have an item that has eight likes, you know, with the heart, and they have eight likes, and you lower that by ten percent during a closet clear out, all eight of those people are going to get a push notification, a notification in their feed, and an email notification telling you that hey, so and so just lowered this. But price, somebody else whatever. can also buy it from a party yes. and get the same discount in shipping if you've lowered the price. So it's somebody not just to your likers. If they stumble upon it, they can get the same benefit. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's a great way to make a ton of sales, and it. Uh, it really works out. I love <laughs> so what do we got next? We got uh, another tip to help you make sales and and uh, start generating those sales is the change the times that you list. So if you're listing at the same time and it's not working for you, try a different time. We Karen lists all throughout the day at different times every day. So she won't list at the same time. She'll list from sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes during the PM party and the seven o'clock. So it's just all different times. And it really, it, it really, um, spices things up, I guess a little bit. So, so. it's like, yeah, if something doesn't work, and you're like, I'm doing everything, because I hear that. I'm doing everything you're telling me. I'm listing, I'm listing, I'm listing. I'm not getting sales. Well, if something's not working, you have to change it. Yeah. If you keep doing the same thing day in and day out, and it's you're not getting results, why are you still doing the exact same thing? Change when you list. I prefer to list between 7 p.m. my time and like 10, 30 p.m. my time. However, I list in the morning. If I have relevant listings to list during like a daytime party, I'm going to list during the party because there's people there looking for that yeah. stuff, you know. So if something's not working, change it. Change when you do it. And I know that's hard when you have a job. Yeah, Cara Molina, uh, I'm sorry, Corral Molina, um, iPhones take great pictures. Uh, yeah, you know, the standard eight that's out right now. You don't need to go as crazy as the iPhone 10. I mean, mm -hmm. you can if you want to, but right. the eights do a great job of taking pictures. We always get great quality photos with our iPhones. And um, I mean, we have a camera. We just don't use it to take pictures. We use it to vlog with. So yeah. And, and it's like, and then they're right on your phone and there's no, Oh no, they're on the memory card or, Oh, it's the computer's yeah. in the other room. It's like, you have no reason not to list because who doesn't always have their phone on them I in know. this day and age, right? You could be like in line, in a long line at the DMV and like get five listings up. <laughs> Kelly B just sold three items while she, while we were live. So that's awesome. We are good luck. We're good luck, I we'll guess. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> we are very good luck like that. 
Yeah, I mean, most iPhones do a great job with pictures. No matter what you have, 6S, the, uh, I mean, even the older iPhones probably take great pictures. But um, we, we're both using eights, and we love them. So I, I had before my eight, I had a six plus. It was great. It took fine pictures. Um, the only thing that started happening, it started like spazzing out. So it was old. That whole like Apple's battery starts going crazy. And they force you to upgrade. It's true. And I was like, <laughs> so yeah, I upgraded. But yeah, even the six took great pictures. So um, and the other good thing about taking pictures with an iPhone. Um, is you can set it to square mode in, yeah. in the actual photo. You don't have to worry about editing or anything no like editing, that. No editing, so. no accidentally like cropping something off because you upload your photos in square mode and the iPhone settings for cameras, you can um, restore your last camera settings. So every time I open up my camera, it's already in square mode. Ah. Lachey, um, the, the, as far as brands that sell well on Poshmark, I mean, anything's going to sell well on Poshmark. It's really, there's a ton to list. Um, the, your best bet is to go back into our videos. We did a Poshmark Bolo live and we had a ton of brands that sell well. So go take a look at that video. Um, I, I believe it's Poshmark Bolo live yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Bolo brands to look out for that are going to sell for good profit on Poshmark. Um, most of it is going to be uh, is going to be women's stuff that we have on that video. Um, a, a lot of the jean brands will translate over to um, men as well. But for the most part, it's women's brands on that video. But it gives you a good idea of what can sell. And a lot of the uh, jean brands are both are unisex brands. I mean, they're yeah, like Seven for All Mankind and Adriana Goldschmidt and Big Star. And so jeans will sell great. Um, your 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 classic brands like Burberry's and Tommy Hilfiger. And, yeah, the Burberry. I got a Burberry on today. Um, those the, those sell great. It's just uh, <laughs> if if you're if you're getting stuck on what to sell. Do a broad search in a Poshmark and do a comp on a broad search. Um, so take jeans, for instance. Just type jeans into the search bar. Check off your My Size option. Go over to um, where it says Available and check off the sold listings, and you'll see exactly what's sold for jeans. It's going to show you the brands that are selling, and it will give you an idea of what to source for. What's up, Wade? Um, Todd, I have used PhotoFuse before. It's a website that will take out the background, like white out the background completely. I've had like one or two things that it worked like flawlessly with and everything else it like was not good um, because I have a pretty white background to begin with. So I think that was throwing it off or something, but I know a lot of people do use it and it's it's the it's a website i believe um from what i remember um not an app so um i just don't use it i just use um, my own white background so michelle says i've had a problem copying pics from ebay that are taken long ways i copied a posh and pics are far, far too long and can't crop to fit anyone got a mm. fix so what do you don't you use an instagram resizing app uh yeah so to, if to, your to photos, put, put photos are like normal like photo like you know long on one side shorter on the other <laughs> um and they don't fit into the square um they do make a lot of instagram resizing apps because that's a common co problem um for instagram as well it's the same format um and so another thing that you can do is take two photos that are normal photos say the front of the shirt and the back of the shirt and use an instagram um collage app and then it would actually look like a square. You'd do front and back and it would be a square. Yep. Um, so a lot of people do collages as well when they have that problem. Hack your health. Um, it does it that is that is the case. If you don't share or, or list on Poshmark for a day, your your sales are gonna decline. Um, you gotta list every day and you gotta share every day. It's the nature of the beast. It's Poshmark favors activity, so they're gonna favor activity no matter what. Um, if you don't have any items to list, go relist some items. Um but you do need to be active to generate those sales. It's just because Poshmark is a social media app, so they reward activity. Um, and that's just how it goes. We all got to live with it. And um, That's what I did when we went on vacation. When I went to Texas, I relisted. Yeah. I, I you know, my, my inventory was here in Connecticut and I wasn't. So I wasn't going to like make new listings and not have it here. Um, so I relisted uh, every day. I was like, this is old. This is stale. Time to really list, yeah. <laughs> and and it works, and it and it does. It tricks the algorithm into thinking that you're making new listings, even though they were already up there. <laughs> so it, it's very helpful. I know people get so scared to relist. So still, yeah, just do still, it. It's no work. matter how much it I works. tell you this, 
And like, I lived this and like, I, I would not be telling you to do something if I don't do it myself. Like I re I completely delete something and relist it. And, and, and people are still scared. And I get asked, how do I do it? Too often. Just copy and paste the listing. Yeah. You can either have your main photos that you already took for that listing saved in your phone or your computer somewhere. I just screenshot my own photos from my listing, copy the description into notes, copy the title into the clipboard, delete the listing and make the listing again. It's very simple. It's very to simple. Yeah, it's easy. So, so even on vacation. And that'll count as a <laughs> listing. So that'll get your activity up. Yeah. What, like two minutes to realize. So even. Robin says I listen, share and do the 30 minute method of my sales are sporadic. I mean, it probably has to do with the amount of followers you have and um, the amount of listings that you have in your closet. There's all, there's a whole bunch of different factors as to why your sales aren't steady. Um, followers and, and listings in your closet are key. I mean, you're going to get more sales, the more listings you have mm -hmm. and the more you list. So um, it just has to do with keep keep get, keep sharing other people's stuff, grow those followers, grow that following, and you're gonna start noticing steady sales as the closer you get to the the higher you get in your following followers numbers. Think about it this way, Robin. If you have like a hundred and ten listings, and you know it's sporadic. Now let's say you double that. Let's say you get to like almost two fifty. Now you have like more items for people to choose from, and that's gonna like double your chances for a sale. The more items you have, it gives people more options to choose from. So keep listing. You're doing everything right. Just get your item listings up and up, up, up. That's everybody here. So Aerosmith Joel, relisting is when you take an item that hasn't sold for a while and you relist it. It's actually like you're making a complete and new listing again. Sharing is just sharing an item. It's not doing anything. It's not um, it's not creating a new listing. It's not tricking the system into thinking you're making a new listing. It's just sharing your item in general. So it doesn't count as a listing. If you edit next list an item when you're sharing, that counts. And that does the same thing as a listing. It promotes uh, it promotes your item to the top of the closet, so it's a little hack to um, get some better activity on your uh, on your closet that way. But relisting counts as making a listing, so it means actually going into edit, saving all the data, the pictures, like the information of the listing, whether it be in your notes or whatever or picture format, and then going all the way down to the bottom in edit mode and hitting delete. And that listing is no longer available for sale. And then you make the same exact yep. listing over. It's exactly what it is, relisting something. Karen relists once a month, maybe. Uh, I used to be so regimented with it. I was like, okay, I had like a system. And I was like, okay, I used to do it every five weeks. Every five weeks, I'm like, okay. And through like closet clear outs and edit next lists and like promoting items. Um, if it didn't sell, I was relisting it. But the, the larger I grew and the more active my closet got and the, and the bigger my closet got and it became almost impossible yeah. to keep up with that. Um, I, I I pay attention to closet clear outs because I love them so much. I pay attention to where my historical low is. And if I can't drop that item anymore, should another one roll around, what's the point? So I'm going to relist that item. Yep. So let's get back to the tips list. We got a... Uh... This is an, it's, uh, an obvious one, but well, maybe not so obvious, but make offers to likers, Posh Favors users who use their new features. And this is a fairly new feature. So the newest one. That's the, why it's we're bringing the newest it up. one. It's yeah. The newest one. So those offers to likers are definitely going to help you generate sales. Um, it's a, there's a new feature now, too, where if you make an offer to liker and somebody actually likes your item within 24 hours, that offer is going to get automatically sent to that person. So it just happened to me today, which I thought was pretty cool. So now if somebody likes your item while you have an offer out, you're golden. You've just sent an offer to somebody else. So um, it's it's great when you're sharing and you make an offer to likers and somebody else likes your item, you're going to get more offers out there. Now, I'm, we're just using this as an example. You, you need to pay attention whenever Poshmark rolls out something new. That's whether it's seller or buyer base, something to help the flow of transaction because remember they don't get paid till you sell something that's why they have all these awesome features whenever they roll out with something new use it yep. don't be like what's this when they came out with the dressing room and everyone was so confused about what the heck this dressing room was they had like a live facebook explaining it and it appeared there like the dressing room double hanger sign but no one really knew how to use it uh, some people saw a big drop in sales and other people were kind of like hanging steady because they were messing around with the dressing room, 
trying to figure it out. Them trying to figure it out kept their sales going. The people that were just like, ah, this is stupid. <laughs> why it was a new feature. So just focus on those new features and figure them out as soon as possible. Some of them are a little more complicated yes. than others, but um, you want to explain the dressing room real quick to Laura? So the dressing room is a double hanger icon. It's at the top of your closet. It's the top of every single Posh's closet. You can enter it from your closet or somebody else's. And pretty much it is a way to see anything that you've liked in one area say you want to go bundle something and you, you know when you go to your likes and it's all there you get to who knows what sellers they're from it organizes it by seller so you can see if you like multiple items from one seller and then as a seller you can see who's liked your item if they've liked multiple of your items and if they've ever hit bundle you know when someone adds one thing to a bundle or multiple things you can actually say, oh, hey, that person added like three things to a bundle like three weeks ago and I, I didn't notice it. I go into my dressing room like a couple times a week. You can also and I search bundles and I make sure I send out offers on these bundles that I might have missed. You can also use it to style people. Yes. And um, direct share. create create a bundle of if, so if somebody likes something that or somebody adds something to a bundle and there's just one thing in there, you can go into your dressing room and you can direct share items right mm -hmm. to them that are in their size profile. And that's going to create the opportunity for them to add that to their bundle and maybe buy multiple items from you. So that's the best feature of the dressing room is you can create bundles for people. Um, their, their style card is in the dressing yeah. room too. It's, it's at the bottom. And I know on the iPhones, it kind of gets cut off. So you have to kind of like push up a bit. And then you can see, you're not going to just share random stuff to their dressing room. You got to make sure it's going to fit them. So go into their size profile and make sure, hey, if they take mediums and tops, only right. share mediums and tops, you know? Um, but yeah, you can complete bundles that way. You don't want to spam people and just send them like 20 things from your closet. Right, add a few things in there yeah. and just- uh, That coordinate, that might look good together. Yeah, I've, I've done that before and mm -hmm. it's worked. So um, it's a good feature and it's definitely worth learning how to use. We should make a video on that. Mm. Maybe there's so many different like things you could do with it. And we'll do a little just, yeah. we'll do a little screen share video coming up in the future of how to operate and use the dressing room so that you guys can understand that a little better. We'll do a whole screen. We'll have Karen do a whole screen I share use video the and dressing room to direct share like a thank you note to people yep. when they give me feedback. There's lots of things you can do mm -hmm. with it. So we'll make a video on that for you guys. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. So um, where are we at? <laughs> you already did well. You did that. I one. make lists. Keep them on track. <laughs> Okay, so um, we were talking about um, when I was saying do certain things on the 30 minute method, break that into it. What I've also been hearing a lot of chatter about in the Poshmark Analytics group is actually like during party or when you're being active in Poshmark, opening up a listing and commenting something to the buyer. Like saying, hey, this is a beautiful dress. I wish it was my size. I'm going to share it and hope it sells. Because that kind of shows Poshmark that you're being social by using the at symbol. You know, at who's ever listing it is, it's going to say like their closet name and say, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous purse. Doesn't quite, you know, a little too small for me. I wouldn't use it, but I hope somebody else will find it. You know, just kind of comment and be social. And that has been a big topic in the Poshmark Analytics group. Just being social on a social app. Who would have heard of such a thing? <laughs> so if, if you've ever gotten comments like that, like, oh, this is so pretty. And you're thinking, well, why aren't you buying it? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people are just being social on the app and it really does help their sales. I see so many emojis. Emojis make <laughs> me stop and go, oh, <laughs> yes, make a video. I will. When doing edit next list multiple times, I get a pop up saying that Poshmark has shut down. Oh. Huh? I've never, I no, I've never got that before. We do that all the time. Yeah. What device are you on, Vicky? I'm just curious. Not like I'm a, like an IT or something like that. <laughs> I'm just like really curious. I've so, never had that happen. Nia's got a question. Do you use the showrooms to target buyers? Yes, I target follow. Target follow in yeah. the showroom. So you know I love my jeans. <laughs> and anytime there's like a best in jeans and I see a pair of 
I don't know, page jeans that have like 27 likes on them. I'm going to follow all those people. It's so easy to like target follow in that. You know, I don't direct share to people's dressing rooms, random things that I'm like, hey, hey, they like something in the, in the party. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be a pushy salesman. <laughs> Who wants that? Right. You ever walk into like a department store and like the person's like, do you need help with anything? You're like, no, I'm just looking. Yeah, well, I'm not here if you need anything. And they're like, kind of like, you don't want to do that yeah. with you. No good. It's creepy. Don't be that person online. <laughs> so Isabel G says the 30 minute method has done nothing for me. Wow, really? Yeah, it works for us all the time. I mean, I've, it's, it's just the right amount of activity to get Poshmark going and to um, yeah, show results. So that's a Samsung. Oh, okay. So that's an Android. So I've yeah, the, the 30 minute that. method is great. We use it all the time. Yeah, um, it might be also be a combination of, you know, your followers. You might not have a lot yet or you're not following enough yet because I don't know the exact. Jay just hit 31,000. 31, he gets so excited when he hits like zero, <sighs> zero, zero, like every time it like, you know, next thousand happens. And I'm like, yay, I was there before. <laughs> I used to like track it. But he started seeing like a mega increase, what, like 28,000? Yeah, 28,000. I started yeah. seeing an increase like in activity more like crazy. So steady. Like, you know, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so it, you can be 30 minute method is great even before you get to a certain amount of followers because it gets you really used to it. It gets you so used to it that like I could do that thing in my sleep. <laughs> Eyes half closed, you know. So it's not a bad thing you're doing it. I'm sorry you're not getting results. Just keep working on building your followers yep. and following. Clearing Clutter for Clarity um, asks, what do you do if someone decides hours later that they want to bundle something to an already purchased item? There's um, not really much you can do at that point. If you haven't shipped it yet and they want to, you know, You could cancel it, it. Yeah, cancel the order out. You can. I've had it happen. You run the risk because at that point, you're the only one that can cancel the order. After three hours, the seller can only cancel. Yeah. Three, the first three hours, the buyer can cancel. So if like four hours goes by and they're like, hey, I really want to add this to my order, you're going to have to trust the fact that they're going to buy the bundle and then cancel on your end the single sale. And then there is actually a thing that says um, cancel order reason why wanted to add to a bundle that is a reason to select. Um, and then your item is now sold in your listing, the one that they just bought four hours ago. So you're gonna have to make a bundled listing. Take whatever they want to bundle and whatever they had purchased and make a single listing and tag them in it and make the price the price for both and hope that they buy it. Yeah, you have to be careful with that because if you cancel an order and they and they don't buy again from you, then you've lost that sale. So that's why we try to avoid that. Yeah. We just let it go. And if they want to buy both items, they're gonna buy both items. It's it's uh, they're gonna they're gonna do it. I mean, what you could do maybe if you want is offer that second item to them at seven dollars less, so you're eating the shipping, so they get free shipping on that second item. So it's like you're creating a bundle. But I wouldn't go as far as canceling the sale because that runs the risk of you losing a sale completely if the buyer decides they don't want to buy either of the items. So that's something you can do to, as a workaround to just offer a seven dollar discount. You have to go on your own field on the item so. price, and um, and that way they're getting free shipping. So it's like they're getting it bundled anyway. You gotta understand, some people are new to Poshmark. Some people don't even know they can bundle, you know? And some people are like, wait a second, I can save on shipping. One girl bought three things from me, like in rapid succession, like individually, and I felt so bad. And I and I commented to her, I didn't cancel anything. I was like, honey, 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 like you could have bundled. And I didn't hear anything back. Like she must've been so new, she didn't even know she was getting, ta I was tagging her. I was like, oh my goodness. So I, I, what else was I supposed to do? I shipped all three separate packages out to the same address, you know, um, and I felt bad, but some people just don't even know you can bundle. It, Save on shipping. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't want to run the risk of losing a sale. So that's how I would do it. But go on your own feelings. So, you know, if, if so, um, you think they're good. What is that? Say? On you. It says Poshmark unexpectedly quit. Vicky says, would you like to send an anonymous report so we can fix the problem? Send report. Don't send. Always send. Um, we've never had that message I've before. I've, that message. I've, I mean, we've been on Poshmark. Karen's been on Poshmark for five years. We have never had it quit on us or 
anything happen like that. And there's another, I think there's another. It um, might be your um, iOS. Right here it says you know? forgiven, blessed, says, uh, uh, first off, what are showrooms in the parties? And then it says I've had the app. Then she's, she says uh, I've had the app shut down on me a lot while listing. It's frustrating. So I, I, I don't know if, uh, I, again, that hasn't happened to us. So we're not. It, the app shutting down while listing happened to me a few times on my iPhone 6. Um, and it happened like all of a sudden I was listing and it shut, like this was a while ago, my old phone. Um, and I went into one of the Facebook groups and they said, listen, just delete Poshmark, you know, however you go into delete, um, and then reinstall it and sign in. Yeah. And I did exactly that. And I had absolutely no problems. Sometimes if your phone keeps crashing, no matter what app, yeah, reinstalling the app is a good idea. It though. might have That's, not yeah. installed properly. So you might want to try reinstalling the app. That could yeah. fix it. But I mean, again, we, we don't run into that problem too often. So, a long time um, ago. <laughs> yeah, as far as showrooms are, that's what the virtual parties are. Those are the showrooms. There's a host pick showroom. There's a regular party showroom for men's, women's, and kids and at the nighttime party. But those are just those are called showrooms. That's all they are. Laura, the, she said she ordered three Lululemon tops from one sa the same person and didn't realize until they came in the mail. That's also where you could see in your dressing room that they're from the same seller. If you filter and you're like, hey, you know, um, I'm bundle. And then you can see, oh, my goodness, all my likes are from this one seller. And they're all my Lululemon tops. You would have known to bundle. So we got a question from Thrifty Treasures. Do you guys follow back everyone who follows you? We, we don't. Yes, no. We, we try to, <laughs> but it's almost impossible to keep up with it because you're getting new followers constantly. So um, we, I I'll, them all the I'll jump into my file. I'll jump into my list and I'll just click follow, follow, follow down the row and get that first thousand followers that I haven't followed yet. But it's really hard to follow everybody that follows you. So just try and be as diligent as possible. And don't worry if you can't follow everyone. It's not the end of the world. And I'll unfollow people in my feed. If I see somebody that I've, you know, followed just out of them following me and I haven't actually opened their closet, but I see them selling unsupported items, I'm going to go into their closet and unfollow them. I don't want to see like yeah. a baby carriage and like... I, you know, uh, Echo Dots. I've been finding Echo Dots all over Poshmark. So Isabel G <laughs> says, I'm <laughs> following 20,000 people and only 10,000 are following back. Is that normal? Um, Yeah, it happens that way. Sometimes there's lopsided. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't follow back. So you just got to keep following and sharing and following and sharing. And eventually your followers will grow. You just got to keep activity going and you're going to get um followers back. So it's just that's just how uh, – that's the best way to do it. You got another tip? Oh, yes. So, you know how I was saying before, if something isn't working, change it. When I say list every single day, I used to list three items every single day, and it worked for me flawlessly. I was like, three a day keeps the doctor away, and I'm getting my sales. Now, I list three, and my sales slowed down. So, I don't know if like Poshmark has adapted to my like really rudimentary behavior, I list five now. So if something is not working, switch it up. But don't switch it up by stopping it. Switch it up by increasing or adjusting it. So I went and I now, now five is my minimum. I'll do five at a time. Say I do list during the daytime party, I'll do five. And then I do seven o'clock, I'll do five. I just do five batches and batch, batch, five, five, five. So um, that's just me. I found that five really works for me. But if something's not working for you, switch it up. And that's going to like then pay attention, you know, pay attention also to where your sales are shipping to. I sell a lot in yeah. California. Yeah. Like, so much to California, so much like Texas and us being on the East Coast. That's why we share a little later. Yeah, Robin, I saw I saw that. Um, that's part of the thirty minute method is to follow your followers. Mm -hmm. What they mean by that is not to follow every single follower that you have. They mean to go into your list, click on the people that are following you, and you get that list of a thousand followers there. They mean to follow all of those at at during the thirty minute method. You could, I mean, for some of you, it might be easy to follow every single follower, but when you get up to around thirty-one to fit to where Karen's at, one hundred thirty-three thousand followers, you'd never be able to do that during the thirty-minute method. So basically, what that means when they say follow your followers on the thirty-minute method is just follow that thousand followers that are new to you there. And if you keep doing that every time you do the thirty-minute method, eventually you'll follow everyone, but you're going to keep getting followers 
as you're doing that. So it's like a never ending cycle. Like even on the computer with like mouse and like flipping, I can't even get to the bottom of my list of followers. Like even if I just did it for like an hour and like scroll, scroll, I can't get to the bottom. Now in active users, users that have a deleted the app, deleted their account and or switched their username. You ever see them and you click on it and it's like user not found. Um, they're all the way at the bottom of your followers. So I would love to be able to access these people and unfollow them because I'm following like nobody, you know, but yeah. I can't, I can't get to the bottom of my followers. I have, I think 127,000. Yes. Amber Osborne. Um, we do launder everything that's not new with tags that we buy from a thrift store or garage sale. So that way be you know we can be double short if it's new with tags we won't though because obviously you're going to take the tag off if you wash it or throw it through the dryer so um we don't wash those and we just go as is with those but everything else gets washed you have to use your best judgment on that you know you ha i ask myself would i want to put this on my body if i were to open the package that answer that you would honestly tell yourself should tell you exactly what to do with that item Yes, Thrifty Thrasher's Bashing 5 is a great idea. One in the AM. One. Yeah, then you got 15 items done. Like, easy peasy. 555. Five. What's that one? Oops. I don't know what you just did. Do you think Poshmark would ever make a change to 50 at a to time? To FO 50 at a time. Follow 50 at a time? I'm not sure what oh, the Oh, maybe yeah. it's follow 50 at a time. I don't know. Um, Poshmark does listen. So I know sometimes people are like, oh, what about this? And you have an idea. I'm going to tell you the best thing to do is to email them. Now, maybe nothing's going to come of it. But if enough people in the whole country have the same like little brainstorm and they get enough of these emails, yeah. they're going to do something about it. You know? Do you know there used to not be like an offer button at yeah. all. Like someone couldn't offer me like- You had to make off. offers through the, through the comment in the section. Comments, so and we all know that really comments are permanent. Hassle, yeah. Yeah. So they, they make changes, do they, yeah. Saying, Same oh, thing with the shipping this. labels. Yes. Uh, they didn't have label printers before, so they upgraded the labels and stuff. They're gonna make changes all the time. So you just gotta send an email in and they'll make changes. Um, how do you spam me. share? So basically you spam share by sharing something multiple times to your followers. So maybe 10, 15, 20 times to, the same item 10 or 15 or 20 times your followers and that's spam sharing uh, you don't have to do it with everything but something that you really want to sell um it's a great way to generate a sale i wonder if it would happen if you edit next list the same item 50 times like like just sitting there and going <laughs> the crazy finger so what do we got for what do we got for tips up there oh where did i leave off <laughs> Be active. Oh, so I I get it. I get it. I get it. I this is one of people's biggest complaints is, huh? I have to do so much work on Poshmark. But it, don't think about it like work. You know, why would you think about it like work? A lot of this can be done while you're just sitting down. Be active on the app. If you work during the week, I get that that's hard, you know? So that's why the 30 minute method's important for when you work. When there's a decrease in activity, um, the days that we flew, guess what? My phone was in airplane mode. I wasn't answering comments. I wasn't responding to offers, which I felt horrible for. My phone was in airplane mode. I'm not gonna crash a plane and me in it because I wanna go, oh, I'll take that offer. No, you know, and I saw a decrease in activity until the next day because I all of a sudden went like radio silent and that's not normal for me. So just be, active yep. on the app even just sign into the app even if you don't have notifications waiting for you that's all you gotta do you know um that's going to help adrianic um what you need to do and she's saying i have twenty six thousand six hundred followers i share many times a day i haven't gotten a sale since saturday and i don't know how to increase my sales tried following 30 minute method nothing works any advice you need to get more followers up your followers up your listings list more then five a day, list as much as you can. Go out and source and list 10 items a day. List, list, list. Um, that's what you did. Yeah, that's what I did to increase sales. Just more, the more listings you make, the more sales you're going to make. Um, 
you want to increase your followers. I mean, you're not quite at that spot where you, but between 28,000 and 33,000, that's when you start to get more steady sales and more closer to daily sales. So you're almost there, but you're not quite there. So increase your followers as much as you can and list as much as you can. I'm not sure how many listings you have in your closet, but you definitely want to be trying to list between five and 10 items a day. And if you're not making a sale, you probably want to push it up, maybe listing 10 items a day. Remember, if something's not working for you, switch it up. If you're doing the 30 minute method every single day at five o'clock, don't do it at five o'clock anymore. But you know, that's basic information. Just try to switch a little bit. If you're only listing X amount a day, three a day, switch it to five or switch to 10, you know, kind of see where you need to pick yeah. up. Um, increase your activity and change the time that you're doing. Except change working, things up. Yeah. If it's not working, change it. So that, that's the best advice we can give mm -hmm. you. Um, spam share, you just sit there and exactly, you just click share over and over and over again. And as many times as you want, the Has more the better. Had that happen to them? from somebody else yeah i have one? yeah he was like i noticed the other day someone like, shared the same item like 50 times and i didn't get it at first because i didn't hear about this until tonight so it makes total sense now though and it's a smart thing to do i was talking to him for like 10 minutes i was like oh and then the ladies in the analytics group were like, uh, this is good. he was like oh my god that's so really <laughs> forgiven and blessed the love note is when somebody comments uh, after they've received your shipping and says this is a wonderful item i love it it fits me perfectly just as described and um how do you uh, how do you give one when you order something you give a love note after you've accepted the order they don't give you that It'll option to five comment stars. five stars and then it gives you an option five to comment stars, and on the bottom it says add additional comment they should have they i believe they should have an open field where it makes it obvious that you want to type because where it says add additional comments it's not so obvious to some people to click on that and give their couple of thoughts. But if it was like an open field and, and like, you know, like grayed out text, like, yeah, how did you feel about this transaction? It would really prompt people to like leave these love notes. Can you edit next list on a computer? Um, hmm. Cause we had a question right here. Could you explain edit next list? I list on my PC, but could not find that option. I have never tried on a PC. I don't have a mouse. Yeah, we don't. So um, <laughs> we're not sure if it's available on a PC or not to tell you the truth, but basically what you do when, when you edit next list, you open up the listing at the top of the um, top of the corner there. It says edit and that's, you just hit the edit button and you go to the next button and you hit the list button and that shares, the that's the area, same share. It's all in the like same area. Tablets and phones. So we're not sure about computers though, but that I might be why you can't computer. find it. But that's basically how you do that. Yeah, I'll look next time though. Um, I list a lot on the computer when I'm on the computer. I find it easier to have like a full keyboard, you know, <laughs> the fingers tip 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 tapping. Um, and I'll look. I'll. I'll Play around with it. I've just never actually tried edit next listing on a computer. Can you still share while you're on vacation mode? You can follow yes. and share, right? Yes. Yeah. You can yeah. still do that. So just that's exactly what you should do, Kelly B. Um, when you go on vacation, just keep sharing, keep following, but you just can't sell anything. So your items will all be marked not for sale until you come back. And um, people can still follow and find your items and share your items just as normal, but you're not going to be able to make a sale. So Jamie, don't feel bad. She said she unfollowed people that has mass shared one of her items that happens you don't understand why they were doing that it makes yeah, sense it, so keep on moving you know it is what it is it, it, now you get it it doesn't mean all of you are going to go all of a sudden you're like i'm going to go blast like 50 of my items like no but chad it is something that you can do chad your offers are binding so when you make an offer on a bundle you cannot change or alter that offer unless it's declined then you can change the offer but um, there's no way to take an offer back once it's made. They are binding. So you got to be careful with when you make your offers and what you make your offers at to make sure that you don't run into that um, area. And you can only offer somebody reduced shipping on a bundle once. Your initial, hey, I'm going to offer you $30 on this bundle with $1.50 off shipping. Should they come back and counter, like you can't do anything else to the shipping at that point. And I think a lot of the buyers don't get that. They're like, hey, what about free shipping? And it's like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> no, thank you. Because <laughs> you guys know. And that's actually what we we're going to be talking about next for the last tip I think we have there is a uh, bundle discount. So yeah. So Bundle discounts. You have a right to do whatever you want with your bundle discounts. However, the newer Poshmark users might, like I, I was just saying, what, like 10 minutes ago, they might not even know that they can bundle. 
What makes you think that new Poshmark users even know what a bundle discount is? Promote it. Um, you, they give you eight pictures you know, in the listing. Um, and my pictures, my very last picture says like bundle discount, da, 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 and it says 10%, yada, yada. Um, right now it says bundle between two closets, save on shipping. It kind of implies what a bundle discount is. I've had people message me, you know, comment at me and say, well, it's this bundle. How do I do it? You know, so we take it for granted. We're like, hey, yep. bundle, bundle. But a lot of the new users don't get it. So make a sign in your closet. I'm sure you've all seen them, right? You've seen them at like in people's closets, like a little sign. And it says like, bundle three or more items, save 20%. And you're like, yeah. You know, save on that. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the mystery boxes? I've heard, re I, I, don't have much experience in them. I've heard really good things about them. I've heard some eh things about them. Think about it. That's exactly, it's, it's a mystery. You don't know what it is, you know, and granted you're going to trust the seller and, you know, they have good feedback on it, but everybody's taste is different. Everybody's curated closets are a little different as to what kind of clothes they are selling to their audience. You know, I, I aim really towards millennials. So, um, if I get like one of these mystery boxes and it's a lot of like Chico's and, and, you know, stuff that doesn't really aim towards my audience, I'm going to be a little disappointed, but I can't be mad because it's still good stuff. You know, um, I, I know a lot of people are satisfied with them though. And I actually know quite a few people that do them, <laughs> that make them. Mm. Yeah. So it's also a good way if you have a crap ton of inventory and you want to get rid of it to make these boxes and sell them. So what are you using to make the signpost ads if you are doing so? I use pick up, pick play post for photo editing. Oh, I have so many. I really like this app called A Beautiful Mess. It's extremely simple. You can add words and change fonts and you just choose a picture and I use any kind of flamingo picture. It's very simple as a background and you can say whatever you want on it. Um, anytime I need to make something really quickly, a beautiful mess. I mean, there's other ones that are more in detailed, like the app where you could do a lot more like Canva and stuff like that. But a beautiful mess is simple and, and it's meant to be simple and there's not crazy amounts of prompts yeah. and it's quick. I like quick. <laughs> so guys, we're going to take a few more questions. I think we got through all of our tips. If you have any questions real quick, throw them in there. We're going to sign off soon though, because we got to go, I got to go make a ton of listings. <laughs> I just took a bunch of pictures today and I got to get them listed. Got <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get to work and uh, we got to eat some dinner too. Yeah. So if you got any questions, throw them in the comment. We have a couple, a few more minutes. Uh, of time left to answer those. While you were waiting, I do want to point out and, and uh, let you guys know again. Stitch Witch says millennials. I have <laughs> three of those in college. <laughs> we are doing another Connecticut thrifting meetup. Yes. If you're in the New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New England area, wherever you're from, if you're close to Connecticut, we are doing a meetup on July, June 29th and 30th. We're going to be going to thrift stores all day on Friday the 29th. We're going to stay at a hotel at the end of that day, and we're going to mastermind and go out to dinner and have a great time talking and learning from everybody. And then on Saturday, we're all going to caravan, caravan to garage sales together and hit these garage sales like 20, 30 people deep. It's a huge, it's an awesome experience. We yeah, did it in cool Austin, seven. Texas. We did it in Austin, Texas, and it was so much fun. If you haven't had a chance to do it yet, definitely get up here if you can. And um, and we will hopefully see you guys there. Yeah, Nicole is coming. Um, it was really great the past few times they had them. I really enjoyed it. It's awesome learning from people, you know, and seeing this different things yeah, that a lot people of fun. go for. So I I like it a lot. I can't wait. So yeah, if you're in the New England area and you want to travel to Connecticut, go find the Connecticut thrifting meetup group on Facebook. We'll let you in. <laughs> so one more thing too, if you guys are new here and you haven't done it yet, jump on our email list. 
Uh, first link in the description, it's our email list. You're going to get a free six-part video workshop from Poshmark that we made just for the email list. It's not available on YouTube. It goes over everything from a tour of our house and how we run a business to selling and listing on Poshmark and inventory and shipping and all that good stuff. So if you haven't done that yet, jump on our email list. And uh, we're going to be giving, we're going to be doing a giveaway next week. Uh, not next week, but we're going to be starting a giveaway next week that we're going to give away a mystery box of our own. We're going to go out to the thrift store and we are going to buy four or five items that you guys can sell for profit. And we're going to send it out to one lucky viewer that's on the YouTube, e on the uh, email list. So if you want to win that, bo uh, that box and you haven't gotten on our email list yet, jump on the email list. If you're already there, you have a chance to win. So um, I will also be linking the Facebook group, the Connecticut 50. <laughs> it's like a mouthful. I'll, I'll link that once this video goes like it reposts. Cause after we are done going live, it takes 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> to, to post. And then I can edit and I can add the uh, Connecticut. So if anyone's interested in going, I really would like to meet people. I love meeting people. Um, yeah. Oh, last How one. do I find my closet name? It is at the bottom of the app uh, that your menu you know, when you go to tap like the right, that's your menu for everything. It says like at whatever, and that's your closet name. Mine says at Pink Flamingo BTQ. Um, and then when you open your closet, it's at the top. It's always at whatever. So um, that's your closet name. One more thing on a personal note, we might have some exciting news soon to tell you guys. So tune in every night of our live shows, Monday th Mondays and Friday. Eventually, there'll be some exciting news that you guys get to hear about, and you'll only hear it here on YouTube. So tune in Mondays at 8 and Fridays at 8, and we'll let you guys know as soon as we um, can. All right. Time to go eat dinner. Time to go eat dinner. You guys have a <laughs> great night. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, and we will see you on Monday at 8 o'clock. Have Bye a great guys. one, guys.